Detective Duck is a legend. Everyone says so. He cracks cases with consummate ease. He's a star on the force and a star on the cricket pitch. He's also the life of the party. Never shy of a good prank or to ask the lady ducks out for a leisurely paddle. He's in tip-top shape and very watchful of his physical health. If he wakes up with a little cough, he's straight on to the lemon and honey. No, he's never afraid to visit his GP for some extra help if he needs it. He knows that without the right treatment, a nasty head cold can spiral into the bird flu. Or maybe something worse. He's always saying, Your health is your wealth. Quack. Uh, yeah, he often ends his sentences with a quack. You get used to it eventually. Detective Duck is a legend, but that doesn't mean he's got all the answers. He doesn't know that his mental health can also go from the equivalent of a little cough to full-blown bird flu. He's about to find out, though. Like most on the force, Detective Duck wasn't fond of Mondays because it's case review day. Last week, for the first time in years, he hadn't cracked any cases. He didn't feel good about this. When his alarm went off, he hit snooze, rolled over and went back to sleep. He wanted to let the day slide by and wake up Tuesday ready to crack on. He fully expected to hop out of bed and fly off to work. But he didn't feel like it. He checked his phone and there were tons of messages. Yesterday he was worried about the review and now he's worried about what his mates will think about him pulling a sickie. He can't face that today. There's plenty of things to catch up on around the house though, so maybe he'll just stay home again. A week later, Detective Duck found himself still at home and at the bottom of a deep, dark hole. He had no idea how he got there or how to get out. He was too ashamed to turn up to work, too tired to get up, too nervous to take on the world. He ordered takeaways but couldn't face the delivery person. His little mental health cough had become a case of mental health bird flu. Back at the station, his mates were worried. This was unusual behaviour for Detective Duck. Superintendent Swan, who was known for her decisiveness, made a decision. I'm going in. But what would she find? And would she know what to do about it? 